What's going on guys? Let's report on the Cloudflare outage that happened on July 17th. That's yesterday, 2020. Took down a lot of services. Discord is one of them, I remember. Some Netflix services. Uh, it depends really on the, where the servers are at and whether they're using the Cloudflare services, right? If you're hosted on a Cloudflare, definitely, I think you're down. But if you're using Cloudflare 1111 DNS, which I, uh, I was using, but funny enough, I didn't hit it because I was VPNing through work because I was working the work day. So I didn't, I didn't actually feel it at all. And my work in Redland, do, they do not use a Cloudflare apparently. That's why they, we didn't hit, we didn't see anything. The 27 minutes, the whole 27 minutes, some servers were, were down. If you're hosting some your web server on Cloudflare, that went down. If you're using the 1111 DNS provider or any subsequent DNS that uses rely on 111, that went down. Some I think I I believe I read some article like even Google DNS sometimes refers to 111 because that's how DNS works. Like it, it just it's like hey I know someone who does uh, who knows the answer so let's keep asking, All right? So yeah, so. What exactly happened? Let's discuss it. So Cloudflare uh, very elegantly wrote this blog and, and, and detailed everything. And I, I love when companies do that. Yeah, everybody makes a mistake. 27 minutes is a lot, right? And uh, they said like 50% of the traffic would drop. It wasn't, they call it an outage. Yeah, you can call it an outage, but it was like an, it's a congestion of the network, which led to, drop of packets which led to uh service being unavailable because of the because we're going to talk about it right so in order to talk about it this is what the cloudflare backbone looks like and backbone is a special pipe that is not using really the public internet they have apparently that which i just realized they have their own private data centers with their own private pipes apparently cloudflare has a lot of money i didn't know that Maybe they, they entered this box. Who knows? I don't know if this information is public or not. But here's the problem. Here's what happened. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. They were working on a little bit of a congestion, not really major, between Chicago and Newark, California. Right? It was, it was there is a router here and there is a router here. And this is these are their backbones, right? They were working on something here. They, they was like, okay, their engineer said, Oh, there are a lot of traffic between Chicago and Newark. So let's route this traffic through Atlanta, which is right here. If I uh, if I can get the state right, hopefully, yeah. So this is Atlanta. So that's okay. Let's update the Atlanta router configuration so it takes it splits the load between this a little bit more. So they change the priority uh, of the Atlanta router to take it more. However. They made an oopsie, as PewDiePie says. They made a misconfiguration. And it's not a, technically an error. It was the configuration did exactly the opposite. It said, route all the traffic through Atlanta. That's exactly what happened. And that I'm gonna show you the configuration. That's the configuration. I didn't, I don't understand how this, what language is this? And, and I don't understand how I read this, but it says prefix less six site local. That means anything routed through this current router, which is uh, Atlanta ATL01. And they assigned 200 priority, which is I think higher. And the rest of the routers were priority 100. So that tells the configuration of the older router to say, yo, let's just, uh, let's just route everything who wins who has the higher priority atlanta wins so just go take all the traffic through atlanta so and it's th these were just happy and dandy nothing is passing through this especially through traffic from california or san san jose or us here in in, in, in riverside uh, and, and then in temecula we are sending all that stuff through Atlanta, right? Again, if you're using the Cloudflare network. And if you're doing that, 
tough luck, man. Uh, people who are in California basically just lost, especially if you're using fully Cloudflare services like Discord uses. I don't know what other uh, services went down. I know Patreon went down, Discord, I forgot the rest of the stuff. But yeah, the D some DNS queries just dies, right? If, if you, even if your website is up, let's say Hussein Nasser is up, right? But if, if someone did a DNS query on HusseinNasser.com and they happen to use Cloudflare's 1111 or 1001, I believe that the secondary DNS, that service died. That means you're going to get a response as a DNS requester that says that I couldn't find HusseinNasser.com. It's like, what do you mean you couldn't find Hussein? Are you going to get this DNS prop error or whatever that uh, the, the browser gives you? So it's like, what? You'd think that Hussein Nasser is down, but it's not. So if you that that's your primary and the secondary. So that's why it's a good idea to use a secondary DNS provider that not from the same company, right? You you might use I, I have this mistake. I have my primary and secondary as Cloudflare, 1111 and 1001. Is that 1001? I forgot. But it's like probably a good idea to switch that to 8888 and 1111 or flip it so you don't get a, a an outage if this ever happens again. They said this is the first time this happened, right? And, and, and guys, you know, you, you, you have to understand this, this things really happen. And I really need to commend the CEO of Cloudflare, right? This, you would think the engineer who this is mistake is a big trouble, right? And, and he will be fired. No. Cloudflare CEO came out and took full responsibility as himself. How badass is this? It's like he's responsible. He says, no, so the engineer has nothing to do with it. We did not have backup mechanisms, right? Uh, what do they call it? There is an English word. I, I forget about it. Man, what's this called? Uh, wait a second. Precautions. Cheese. Okay. They didn't take the enough precautions in case something happened to essentially uh, fall back to a different logic. They should have done that. So a CEO should have thought about that. And he said that. And I, don't, I can't find his tweet now. But, but yeah, a CEO should have think about, okay, what happened if one of our routers die or all our traffic just goes to one router, right? How do we detect that, right? And I think they, they showed a security. Look at that. <laughs> Atlanta 01 has like all the traffic and all of these are dandy and happy like zero like white nothing I think these are the Europe things which you which were like sleeping back then and nothing happens here nothing's going on in Europe here I think these are Europe I'm not sure but yeah this is very fascinating and, and I, I really I really wish all the CEOs and, and, and leaders should take responsibility when things happen right engineers Every, we all make mistakes, right? We all make mistakes. Yeah, this is a big mistake, but the lesson learned from this is a huge. Twitter hack, social, social engineering tactic, let's call it, is a lesson learned. Now, we all learn from Twitter that, hey, our internal tools better be secure, and we shouldn't really... Uh, we shouldn't really have an internal tool that just resets a password or just changes an email without sending a confirmation to the user. Or if you want to do that, even if the, the user lost their email, let's have some precautions. Like, okay, what if two two employees sign off on this change, right? Some some precautions like that, right? I read this somewhere. I, I didn't make this up. But yeah, so it's all lesson learned. I think it's a good. What do you guys think? This you do you guys think that this shouldn't have happened and they should have taken care of this and should they have thought about this? Or do you think yeah, well, we all make mistakes and we learn from them? And tw 27 minutes to be honest guys, this is extremely good response time. I mean 27 minutes, 30 minutes without the internet. I mean, if you're doing a presentation, tough luck, man. That will be that will be a disaster. But yeah. I don't know, man. I think 27, the, I think the engineers did a great job to find the problems. Like, why everything's going to, to Atla Atlanta all of a sudden, right? So they had a great monitoring tool. Obviously, they're showing you these stuff and, and everything. Look, look at that. 
this the sliver of the outage it's funny that everything is like wide here. It's like no traffic. It's like, where is everybody gone? <laughs> Imagine someone like in in one of these routers, look at us like, oh, looks like the, everybody shut down then their internet. Nobody's using the internet apparently. It's like, nope. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I got to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Check out the content of the channel. I don't talk about just news. I talk about backend engineering. That's my specialty. Databases, security, uh, protocols. Uh, I make some backend engineering courses and talk about all that stuff. Check all that content in this YouTube channel. Subscribe for more cool-ish stuff like that. I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.